Hello everyone, welcome back to Blade Bias. What am I gonna flip today while we talk about today's topic? Mmm, it's a good question. I haven't flipped the vault in a while. Let's get the vault out. Today I wanna talk about kind of how dumb this versus that comparisons are. Also the chaplain of the vault already coming through, okay? You may notice that in the Balasong community we get a lot of people who want to know comparisons, this versus that. And I think it's stupid. Let me explain. The Balasong community is incredibly and almost entirely subjective. There are very few things that you can make a review on a Balasong about and be completely 100% objective about. Unless you were talking about what the manufacturer claims the balance is, there is no universally agreed upon balance because everyone seems to have a different opinion. Oh, the Prisma is blade biased. The Prisma is handle biased. The Kraken Trainer is handle biased. The Kraken Trainer is neutral. Or, sorry, not the Kraken Trainer. The Live Kraken is handle biased. The Live Kraken is neutral. The Vulp is blade biased. The Vulp is neutral. The Vulp is handle biased. The, it, it, everyone has a different opinion at the end of the day. And comparisons are what people use to kind of say, okay, I have experience with a Vulp, but I don't have experience with a Prisma. How would you compare the Prisma to a Vulp? And that's well and good. That's actually great. It's a great tool that people use to, um, to kind of quantify what they have experience with to hopefully try and understand what a new Balasong that they want to get will be like. Because at the end of the day, every Balasong is completely different there is no two Balasongs that flip the same. Even V1s and V2s of product flip and feel very different from each other. But the problem comes in when you most, this is mostly just me ranting about um, people coming to me and asking for advice. I'm sure it happens to other people, but I can't say it happens to everyone. I mean, maybe it does. I don't really know. Where the problem comes in with this versus that is when you get people who come to you in DMs and they say, hey, here's two completely different ballast songs. I want to buy one. Should I get a Prisma or a Kraken Trainer? I, 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 uh, uh, where do I even begin? Where do you even begin with a question like that? $220, $150, blade biased, handle biased, 6061, 70-75, uh, long and weird, more standard, ring, kind of ring? It's just like, I hate the this versus that when people just like, you have to give context. Because at the end of the day, my recommendation as someone who reviews Balasongs, it means a lot to me that I recommend someone a Balasong that they will most likely enjoy. If someone gets a Balasong and they hate it, I don't want to feel like, I, I feel partially responsible for that, you know, because I recommended, oh, should I get a Prisma or a Kraken? Oh, I think the Prisma is way better. Turns out the person gets it. They don't like Blade Bias. They don't like longer Balasongs. Oh, well... Suddenly, it's put on me as the person who recommended it. And I know not everyone is like that, but there is certainly cases where that has probably happened. Um, not to myself, but to other people. Also, I've never noticed just how little weight is in the end of the Prisma. That goes all the way to the end. Anyway, whatever. So this versus that is definitely a very useful comparison. In a review, I would compare... I mean, this is a rough comparison because no one's really tried a Nemesis V2, but when I talk about the Impusa, I'm inevitably going to talk about the Nemesis V2 because they both have long, thin handles. Not long. They both have the thin rectangular handles, and they f have a very similar balance profile in my eyes. So comparing them is kind of a natural, but it usually works a little better when you say use a Balasong that only 20 exists of or 30 or whatever. It's a lot easier to say, like, oh, oh, what's a good comparison? Oh, boy. Um, the, <laughs> the, 
the Flip Forge Edit Lite is like a Tay Flipper, but heavier. Because the people who try to Tay Flipper can kind of understand what that means. But the problem comes in when you ask for recommendations from people on two completely different ballast songs with no context whatsoever. At the very least, if you're going to go to someone and say, hey, should I buy this or that? You have to give them context. For example, if I were to go up to Ty and say, hey, Ty, what are two, Ty, what are two ballast songs that Ty has that I don't have? He has the Sirius V2, and he has the, uh, the Medusa, let's just say. Let's just pretend that the Impusa and the Medusa are like way, way different in how they flip. I would go up to Ty and I would be like, hey, oh no, actually no, Sirius versus Swordfish. That's way better. So I wouldn't just say, hey, should I buy a Sirius or a Swordfish? Because that's almost an impossible question to answer. What I would do is say, hey, Ty, yo, Swordfish versus Sirius. If I am someone who likes more neutral ballast songs, and doesn't really like the sound of like pingy aluminum, which one would you get? And he would probably say the Sirius V2 because that fits my preferences better. Because at the end of the day, ballast songs are subjective. This versus that is so difficult to just be like, this is objectively better than the other. As I've said a thousand times, I get comparison for the sake of helping people understand. Oh, the Prisma is like a Marin Light. I don't fucking know. I've never tried a Marin Light. But you get what I mean. But then, like to to use this versus that. Oh, I'm 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 quickly going off into just tangents. But hopefully, you get what I'm saying. You can't use this versus that as an objective which is better because there is no objective which is better at the end of the day, unless we're talking about like an opus or a tsunami versus like a Ono Adax. I think there's a clear winner there, even if you're not super hyped up on the Tsunami or the Opus. But when we're talking about ballast songs that are relatively close in price, that have vastly different experiences, like the Prisma and the Kraken Trainer, you have to prime people with that knowledge of, oh, the Prisma is objectively better. No, the Prisma is better because you like the blade bias a bit better. Oh, what should I buy? A Kraken Trainer or a Prisma? That, how do I answer that? How, how, how can I answer that? But when you go to someone and you say, Hey, Kraken Trainer, Prisma. I prefer handle bias. And I like more rounded handles. I don't really like square handles that much. Then that makes it super easy to say, Oh, you're going to love the Kraken Trainer. Because the Kraken Trainer doesn't have super square handles. They're more rounded off compared to the Prisma. The Kraken Trainer is more handle bias than the Prisma. You're probably going to like it a little bit more. It's so easy once you just provide a little bit of context to do with this versus that comparison. While still recognizing that it's 99% subjectivity and your own personal biases and enjoyments on what a ballast song should be and flip like to you. I have no idea if what I said in this video made sense. Welcome to my video where I rant about something for 10 minutes in an attempt to make a point and maybe do it to middling success. Who knows? Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.